I'm at the Four Seasons Hotel in Washington, D.C. for the Real Estate Roundtable's fall meeting. I'm joined by Ken Bernstein, the president and CEO of Acadia Realty Trust. So Ken, with economic uncertainty continuing, uh, consumer confidence you know, s still kind of up in the air, what's the current state of retail fundamentals? Interestingly, um, for the most part, our retailers are seeing their sales holding up. So there's a fair amount of stability, notwithstanding a lot of volatility in the capital markets, and a fair amount of legitimate concern by the consumers. What we'll have to see is, how does this play out over the next several months? And if the economy continues to remain volatile, at what point does that truly start to impact fundamentals? And anchor tenants are obviously very important to a, to a shopping center's success. What, what are you seeing in terms of anchor tenant performance? And, and, I, and I know you've done a little bit of anchor recycling. Can you talk right. about that? For the most part, uh, our anchor tenants have been healthier uh, than heading into the financial crisis 2008-2009. They have stronger balance sheets and their business has been somewhat steadier. Um, you're always concerned about what happens if we go into another recession and what impact might occur. We haven't seen that yet. And, and looking at the acquisition market, are you finding it a, a better time to be a, a buyer or a seller? I know Acadia does both. Wh which, which is more advantageous now? We are active in both areas. I think I would term this as, and put aside the past few weeks where the market volatility has perhaps made even things more difficult, this is a good time to shed assets and be a seller of assets that are not consistent with your long-term strategy. We're certainly doing that. But it's also, because rates are so low, it is a good time to be a buyer of assets that you believe in long-term. So it's one of those time periods where it's Good to be both a buyer and a seller. Well, let's see how the markets play out over the next few months to see if that continues. Okay. And lastly, looking at, at 2012, give me uh, one thing that, that has you optimistic about Acadia's outlook and, and on the downside, you know, or on the opposite side, something that, that has you cautious. On the upside, I am very excited with how we're positioned. And what I mean by that is a few things. One is our portfolio. We've been selling off at certain assets and acquiring others. So about 40% of our portfolio is urban or street retail. Uh, about a third of our portfolio is supermarket anchored and the balance is discounter anchored. I like that balance and I like where that positions us going forward. And then we have a very healthy balance sheet, so we have plenty of dry capital to be acquirers. And we think that some of the volatility, some of the noise in the system right now, is going to create some interesting buying opportunities, so we like that. What concerns me is within the publicly traded real estate space is the baby getting thrown out with the bathwater. In other words, real estate should be, in this kind of a low interest rate environment, a very attractive investment. And so far, real estate's been holding up okay. There is a risk that REITs, along with all other financial instruments, will be sold off just out of fear, and that could create a very scary 2012. Ken, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.